In this build series video, we'll be fitting the engine and fitting out the engine bay. Hang with it, I'll explain what I'm doing here soon. The back of the block has two dowels sticking out of it. So I'm getting them located and then I get a couple of bolts in by hand to hold it all in place whilst I get the other remaining bolts in tight. Again, it never hurts to talk everything. So for those wondering how I got the engine in all by myself, what I've got here is just a little strap which obviously slings over one side to the other, which cradles the engine and connects up to the main um, bundle up here. So what that does is obviously as I tighten that down the engine rolls and picks up which then obviously goes from the engine being like vertical when we put it in over to the 45 degrees which we uh, which we run them at so easy little trick you can do just to um, get the engines in rather than having to lift one side I was just trying to get the others in but like I say another sweet little trick um, maybe you could pick up and do it yourself next time or or even just for anything else you might ever be doing now the engine bay fit out starts. It consists of fitting all the plumbing and accessories such as the power steering pump and throttle linkages. So one of the things I like to do before I put the car away for the winter is I'll um, give the lines a, a brake clean, then I blow them out with uh, obviously compressed air. Then uh, then I'll use some of our multi uh, Enviro lube, which uh, obviously just puts a bit of a, an oil coating on the inside of them. And uh, as you can see there, I've, I've blown this one out, and it's the residue that's came out. Which what that does is it stops any of that uh, methanol. Um, kind of crystallizing in the line so when you first fire up the car you don't block all your filters and nozzles and kind of have um, fueling issues for the first potentially three or four meetings. Um, sometimes you see quite a few guys struggle for the first first few meetings here and there with, with silly things so um, just a real basic thing you can do you know when pulling apart the car not even building it for next year but uh, like I say it's these little steps that um, make a, a seamless um, 
operation and, and the team, I guess, as such that you see just, you know, go out, fire up every week and, and have no issues.